tonight, a former sheriff of the year caught leading a seedy and lawless double life, giving meth to young drug addicted men in exchange for sex. This married father, Howard Samuels, you're a clinical psychologist and also an addiction specialist. How is it possible that nobody knew about this? I mean, where did he get his meth? Well, it turns out we're gonna talk about a supplier who ends up getting three years, not 30 days. Uh, but I would think that in this community that somebody had to have known what was going on. Well, you know what, Jane, I, this doesn't shock me, and I have to agree with Duncan, you know, in what he said, is that, you know, addiction cross all lines, and in the gay community, meth is a huge problem. It is one of the most popular drugs in the gay community, and the sex addiction and the drug addiction really go hand in hand. And, you know, I've treated priests, I've treated policemen, I've treated housewives. I mean, it is very common, as you know, Jane, for us addicts to lead double lives, and we're very good at it. And this is just horrific as far as a sheriff doing this. This is supposed to be trustworthy. Yeah, did, did his wife know he had 49 gay porn DVDs in his house? We're taking your calls on this. We're just getting started. The shockers. How does somebody go from that, okay, Howard Samuels, clinical psychologist, to a guy that the special prosecutor said had uh, suspicious images on his computer uh, of individuals that couldn't be classified as minors, but that were very, very suspicious, and giving... Uh, meth to gay drug addicted men after gaining their confidence by telling them he was the former sheriff. Well, you, you know what, Jane? This is a classic case of addiction within an individual. Now, in this case, I really believe this man, man has a sexual addiction. And, you know, he tried to hide it and hide it, but it grew and it grew and it grew, and he rationalized. Addicts out there rationalize from the small drugs to the big drugs, and it takes years. Now, sexual addiction is the same type of addiction, except it's sex. It starts off with maybe pornography, and then it moves on to other areas, and then you start to compromise yourself, and before you know it, it has become a monster within you. And this sheriff, so compromised his ethics and values and the trust that the people of Colorado put into him, that's what makes it tragic. That's what makes it so shame-based. Uh, Jonathan and to get Elinoff, 38 days. Uh, it's, it's an outrage, it's an outrage. Uh, they say you're only as sick as your secrets. When you're uh, holding a very, very, very um, heavy duty secret, it's bound to become toxic. You're right, Jane. And not only does it become toxic, but it becomes bigger. And that's exactly what has happened in this case. I'm sure he's been doing this for years. And it's gotten bigger and bigger and darker and darker, where it had to end up where it ended up. And the tragedy here is that people have shame out there about their sexuality. And we're trying to break that, you know, feeling in today's society. There should be no shame about being gay, straight, whatever your sexual identification is. And if you don't come to, to the truth of who you are as a person, unfortunately, this is how tragic it becomes because of the secret of shame.